This is a CBS News special report. Good afternoon, I'm Nora O'Donnell in Washington and we are coming on the air with breaking news from the Kennedy Space Center. Stormy weather has forced today's SpaceX launch to be scrubbed. This was to be the historic first crewed flight of the Crew Dragon, the first privately owned and operated spacecraft to send astronauts into orbit. The next possible launch date will be on Saturday. We want to bring in Mark Strassman, who's been standing by all day at the Kennedy Space Center. Mark? Well, they came close, Nora, but 17 minutes before launch, SpaceX, master, uh, SpaceX launch control uh, made the call that the weather conditions violated several different safety rules. They're going to have to try again this weekend. This was supposed to be a historic moment in space travel, the first time in nine years that a spacecraft would leave from U.S. soil carrying U.S. astronauts, the first time in nearly 40 years that astronauts would fly in a brand new spacecraft, and the first time ever that a private company would launch humans into space. Now, of course, that is on hold, but again, the reasons are because of weather as a safety precaution. Uh, President Trump was here along with the First Lady. Vice President Trump is also here to, uh, to watch uh, what they hope will be a launch, uh, but it, of course, is now not going to be one. And now, of course, uh, they have to drain the tanks. The astronauts are still in the Space Dragon capsule. They will remain there for about an hour while the tanks are being drained. The launch will now be rescheduled for Saturday, I believe the next time they could possibly do it, Saturday at uh, 321 Eastern Time. If it's a no-go on Saturday, they would shoot again for Sunday at 2.59, and Nora, they'll just have to hope for better weather. Well, really, it's somewhat of a disappointment, certainly for many, but taking safety precautions as necessary. It was really moving today to see the two astronauts uh, with a final goodbye to their families. I know these astronauts have been in quarantine for several weeks and that you've spoken with them, but these, these are emotional moments. Their emotional moments, and it was it was touching today at one point to see the families, the the two wives, uh, both astronauts themselves, and their and the two and the sons of of uh, Bob Banken and Doug Hurley, uh, give give the astronauts a virtual hug goodbye as they uh, as they stepped into a, a Tesla and were driven to the launch pad. Uh, and it, uh, if you listen to astronauts, of course, they will often say that these launch day stresses are the hardest on the families who have to watch, and now they're going to have to go through uh, the whole thing again presumably sometime this weekend. This will be quite an achievement for Elon Musk and SpaceX and NASA and these astronauts if this is a go later this weekend. Well, they will make another attempt at ushering America into a new era of space flight. To Mark Strassman and our entire CBS News team on the ground there at Kennedy Space Center, thank you. Our coverage will continue on our 24-hour streaming network, CBSN. You can also watch it at cbsnews.com. You can find it on our CBS News app. There will be more on your local news on this CBS station. And we'll have a full wrap-up tonight on the CBS Evening News with all the other day's news. This has been a CBS News special report. I'm Nora O'Donnell, CBS News, Washington. For news 24 hours a day, go to cbsnews.com.